Hello everybody, this is Michael. I'm back with my third installment of style videos. I don't really know what to call this at this point, but style videos, awesome possum, I don't know. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about shoes. Um, I'm going to be going over um, kind of three basic styles of shoes that um, that if you own, you could, you could really wear all the time and it would look like you... Um, really knew how to put your outfits together and um, and were a pretty well dressed man. So first, I'm going to talk about the black Oxford. Um, black Oxford is like your go to dress shoe. Um, this is a Johnston and Murphy. You can see it says Johnston and Murphy. Um, they they make really good shoes. I would I highly recommend um, Johnston and Murphy. There's a lot of other brands, but these are pretty affordable. These uh these cost I think about 170 dollars new, which which isn't cheap. But um, consider this. Um, a Johnson and Murphy shoe uh, will pretty much last forever um, because um, let's talk about some elements of the shoe that are important that I think are important and sometimes are overlooked. Um, leather soles. Leather soles are primo. If you're buying a shoe to last forever, buy leather soles. The reason being, and, and welted leather soles. I don't know if you can see, but there's like little. These are these are stitches. That just means it's welted, which means that the um, the the bottom is sewed on to the shoe rather than glued on. If it's glued on, you can't replace the sole. But if it's sewed on, it can be replaced, and you can take it to a cobbler and they can resole it for like sixty bucks. Um, what that means is that your shoe will last forever because the uppers never wear out, um, barring some sort of catastrophic event. Um, uh, if you keep uh, your Oxfords in good condition, they will last forever. So that's um, that's the first thing uh, to consider when you're buying a good pair of black dress shoes. I, I say black because black goes with more things than brown, but brown dress shoes are totally fine too. Um, you just can't wear them with black suits. It's really the only and like gray suits depends. Um, the uh, some other things to consider. Uh, the the thing that I notice, and so what I'm going to talk about. Um, some some kind of faux pas when it comes to black dress shoes or any dress shoes. Um, the 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 it really it comes to the toe. The toe should be round, um, uh, but it, and it should be kind of pointy, but not too pointy. If it's too pointy, like uh, sometimes like Gucci or Prada shoes tend to look a little bit like this. First of all, they look a little bit effeminate. Second of all, they maybe make you look like a medieval court jester. And third of all, they might look like you look make you look like a Mexican gangster. I don't know for whatever reason they like to wear the shoes with like the pointy up toes. Um, that so maybe steer clear of that. But if that's your look, it's fine. I mean, if you can pull it off, pull it off. Um, the other thing is you want a kind of thin sole, and leather shoes will inevitably have this, um, unless you do the really chunky sole. But that's that's I wouldn't wear that as a primary dress shoe. Um, so a thin sole. Um, and uh, kind of rounded, uh, pointy-ish toe is a is a timeless look, and that will that'll be in fashion forever. I've, you'll like this shoe. I anticipate wearing forty years from now, and it totally being cool. So that's my shtick about um, the black dress shoe. Now I'm going to go to my second pair. This is a pair of uh, Chucka boots. Uh, I don't know if you've seen them. These are um, kind of an in-between look. Uh, so um, really, any. See, I would say black uh, black Oxford should be your primary dress shoe. But these can be kind of worn with a suit, but they can totally be dressed down. You can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with khakis, and you can sort of wear them with suits unless it's, like, really formal. Um, these are good... Um, Again, uh, basically the same rules apply, although these are not made of uh, leather. These have a rubber uh, sole, so they will wear out. Um, but they'll last for a while. These, these are, I think, four or five years old, um, and they've, they've lasted fine. They kind of get a nice worn-in look. Um, and, and I would, yeah, so, so when, you're, when you're building your wardrobe, I would say black Oxford um, for your primary dress shoe, then some sort of brown, like, boot-ish thing. You can totally do, like, a... Um, a, what do you call it? It's um, uh, wingtip, uh, like brown wingtips. Uh, brown wingtip boots are really fly. If you have a pair of those, like those are even better than these. I mean, I love my Chucka boots, but if you have a pair of brown wingtips, that's where it's at. Because you, can, you can't really wear them with shorts, but you certainly can wear them with jeans or a suit or um, a pair of khakis or whatever. So that's, um, that's my second pair of shoes. My third pair of shoes um, is a pair of nice sneakers. Now, I've, I mean, every guy owns a pair of athletic sneakers, except for me. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about here. These are a pair of Onitsuka Tigers. These are um, these are sneakers, um, but they are a different kind of sneakers. They are, like, stylish. These can... I sometimes wear these with a suit, but that's... I have a little bit more swag than your average dude, so maybe don't do that. But that being said, these things can be worn with jeans. They can be worn with khakis. They can be worn with a pair of slacks, 
Um, but if it's casual enough, that's what I would say. Um, and, and ostensibly, you can run away from things in these, too. I mean, these these are called Mexico 66s because they were featured in the Olympic Games in Mexico in 1966, evidently. Um, so I would, I would recommend getting a pair of those. Um, for... Uh, for this kind of sneaker look, which is the most casual, uh, just some things to remember. Um, keep it not too flashy, not really bold colors. Although, if you want to go for the bold color look, that can work too. Um, you might consider doing that. Um, they should be comfortable. I mean, uh, these are like these are the shoes. I mean, I own about five different iterations of the kind of casual sneaker look. But that being said, um, I could wear these every day and it'd be totally cool. Um, there are a lot of other uh, shoe options, and maybe I'll make another uh, video cast. But in the interest of keeping these short, um, that's all I have for now, and I hope you have a good evening. Bye-bye.